So, we're cooking rabbit. And <laughs> we got pork fat cut up in the pot. Not we, mother. Yes, grandma. And we got some carrots, potato, and turnip. All peeled and chopped up. Ready to go. So this is going to be a rabbit cooking video. You can hear the uh, the fat really starting to, to fry there now. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Making sure we get a good greasing on, on that pork fat. Oh, that's a fine looking rabbit there, Grandma. So the rabbit has been added. That'll be fried for about 45 minutes before we add anything else to it. Right now, she's working on some grouse. Let's go in with it. Okay, now we're, or we, I keep saying we, now grandma is getting ready to add the onions. Look at that, all placed up and ready to go. So how long has that been simmering now for, you figure, 25 minutes? 20. 20 minutes? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. The rabbit's already been cooking, so we gotta add this. Get the onions right now. Let the onions cook and then we add water and let that simmer, right? Right. And that'll be the longest step in between adding and anything else. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll give you guys some times on that too. So how long has uh, the onions been frying now? Ten minutes? Um yeah, about ten. Ten minutes, and now we're adding hot water. She already boiled up the water, the kettle. And then I gotta leave it simmer now for about an hour. <laughs> Leave it simmer now for about an hour. Yeah. It's uh, 3.02 on the clock. And we are only on setting tree on the on the burner. Okay, we last checked in at 3.02, I believe it was. Now it's 3.55. And we're getting ready to put the, I say we, but actually grandma. My mother called. Kids call her grandma, so I call her grandma too. Yeah, so now to, now we've got to add more water to that. Yeah, sure. Oh, I just, uh, well, they know when it starts to go dry, they got to put more water in. You know. Okay, <laughs> right on. So, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't go dry, and uh, add water as needed. And make sure you season it as you, as you like. Uh, put in whatever spices you like. We add salt and pepper. So it's now... 417 and the potatoes are being added. So we are 20 minutes thereabouts. I um, mean, don't buy us in, so that's gonna take 20 minutes, but I gotta leave this cook for about five minutes first. What's that? I said I'm gonna leave potatoes cook for about five minutes, then I'm gonna put some little dough boys in. Oh, okay, so here we go. Uh, the potatoes are gonna cook for five minutes, and then she's making dough boys. That's a real treat. I well, only got a couple of flour in there, so. So a cup of flour. Well, that's because I'm only making a little bit. Okay. okay, so a cup of flour, some milk. She goes all by feel. She just knows what to do. <laughs> I can't tell you guys exactly how much. No, just. And there's baking soda in there, a little bit of butter. And anything else? A little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. A little just... bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt, yes. So are we looking at the consistency of, of bacon bread type thing? Well, not really bread. But, but you don't put bacon powder in bread. No. <laughs> so. 
Das. If you were making for a big crowd, you'd make probably two or three cups of flour. Why? Well, I think you added just the right amount of ingredients. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? making little, little little balls that we'll get thrown in on top of the stew and they'll take about 20 minutes to cook yep so the potatoes will be nice and done the rabbit will be nice and done and the vegetables will be all nice and done Just like that. Now we're 20 mm. minutes out. It is 4:25. Oh, she's actually going to use a timer. There's the rabbit with the gravy. There's the dough boys. And there's the veggies. One fine, one fine meal ready to go. Time to dig in. And this is the final product. All ready to go.